What is up guys? Today I will be showing you how to customize your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra like a pro. Let's get started. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to show you guys how to customize the wallpaper. So what you're going to do is go into wallpaper and style, and then you're going to go to change wallpaper. And then here, you're going to scroll around and in the color section, and then find the one you want. And then if you don't find the color that you want, you would just go to colors and then choose whatever color you would like. I usually have this one and put it to about here. And then when you hit done, and then it's instantly installed. Okay, so now how to change how many apps you have on your favorites bar. So what you're gonna do is go and install the Good Luck app. And I'll leave a link for all these apps I'm using down in the description. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to go to Home Up. So you're gonna have to download all these install or featured apps. There's a bunch that you can download. And then you're going to go to Home Up you're gonna go go to home screen and then favorites max count and then so by default it'll be set to six but you can go up to nine i usually have it set on nine but i usually don't have that many apps so you can select as many as you want and if you did select too many when you go to put it up they'll just go to the home screen so if you do want to have that oops so if you do want to have that many apps on your favorites then you can't have that many personally I don't have too many on there I usually just keep let's see that's all I keep is just these there we go I usually just keep these I, I do organize them by color and I'm realizing that I have two messages There we go. Those are the apps that I usually have on there. And sometimes if I want to, I'll just throw settings on there. So for the sake of the video, I'll just throw settings up there by phone. Okay. And so that's how you can, oops, sorry. And that's how you can add more apps to your favorites. And another thing you can do is style your own keyboard. Okay, so to do that, again, you're going to go to the Good Luck app go back and you're going to go to keys cafe and here you can toggle on to style your own keyboard and then I have this pre-installed one and then if you hit that and then you can see It sounds like a typewriter. And then you have these cool different effects. When you press it, it looks like kind of bubbly. And you can also like pick one of the pre-installed ones or go to effects and then choose whichever one you want. And then when it comes to colors, you can pick any of the pre-installed ones or you can create your own, which is what I did. And then with sounds, you have a few different ones. There's the default one. But I have the retro touch sound. I just like it, how it sounds. It sounds like an old typewriter. And another thing you can do with the Good Lock app is you can create your own theme with Theme Park, which is also another app within the Good Lock. And I created this one that it creates your messages. It does change. It did change my wallpaper, so. I would have to change that back and I'll show you the messages and stuff that it does. Okay, so this is what the messages look like. So if you're coming from an iPhone and you want to see blue bubbles instead of whatever the default is, you can just have blue bubbles. Um, you It would probably help to have a picture of what the iPhone's blue bubbles look like. And I think it's really cool that with Samsung you can customize everything about your phone. Instead of with Apple you have the option to change your wallpaper and that's about it so I love how you can customize your keyboard and the sounds of the keyboard and how your messages look and I think it's really cool and another thing I'm going to show you is how to add widgets to your home screen 
Okay, and to do that, so you're gonna press and hold the home screen and then go to widgets. And then I usually add this battery widget on right here. I actually have this and this does, let's see, go to settings. Okay, so it, oh, there it is, okay. So it only supports Galaxy Watch 3 and earlier. Some Bluetooth devices won't be shown on the widget for earbuds, only Galaxy Buds 2 and 2 Pro can be shown and just stuff like that. So I always have that just to show like what the S Pen is, what my buds are at, which they're in their case so it won't show the what my Galaxy Watch 4 is at or 5 is at and then obviously what the phone is at. Then I do keep this um, little weather widget and then I also add this, let's see, this clock widget, which is from the Pixel phones. It just makes your um, your phone look very polished and I love how it always moves. And that's what I do there. And then with the other widgets, I'll just add them and show you guys. Then I just use, put my most used apps here. And then I will show you guys how to customize this quick settings. Okay, so there, I just added some widgets there, and this is a smart widget. And then I have the Duolingo, the streaks, and I'm currently on my three day streak. And then I just added my most used apps there, and then I have my home screen. So, um, how to change your quick settings, like how they look. So, you're gonna go to Good Luck app, then go to Theme Park. And let me know down in the comments if you want me to do just a devoted video on all the stuff in the good lock app and how to use it so let me know down in the comments so what you're going to do is go to quick panel and then hit create i did already create one so that's what it looks like and then just once it applies and there i do like how you can pick any color that you want and how it looks like when you have night mode on it looks different and when the daytime mode is on I just like how it's very, like you have the option to change it for when I do have this just default scene, <laughs> sorry, um, default thing that I created. Um, but I just really like how you can also do icon and then the volume panel and the keyboard. I really just like everything, like all the customization of the phone and I'll show you a few more tips in just a second. Okay, and now how to customize your home or your lock screen, sorry. So what you're gonna do is press and hold until you get this, and then you can either do face ID, password, or put in fingerprint. So I'm just gonna do fingerprint. And so what you're gonna do is tap on it, and you have the option to like do different styles of clock, make it however big, however big, or however small you want it. Okay, there we go. It can get pretty small. I usually have it around that size, and I do love this. And then I, you can, so in case you're wondering what that was, um, that little icon there. So what it does is when you tap on it, it just, yeah, color applied from wallpaper. And then you can either um, do like a mix of colors or select any other colors that you want. And you can even make your own color from the color wheel. So I think that's really cool that you can do that. And then when you're done, you just hit done. You can also do com um, contact information. So it would be displayed. So you could say, contact me if my phone's lost at them, whatever the number is. And then when you're done, you just hit done. And then it's applied to your lock screen. So that just about wraps it up for my video. And I hope you enjoyed this and found some helpful tips on how to customize your Samsung device. And if you did like it, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in my next video. See you then.